Hello. Have you realized anytime you apply for this DV lottery, you don't win? What is the secret? What is so special about some people that they win that you are not able to win? What is the problem? Today, I'm here to share some tips with you that is going to help you win this upcoming lottery. Okay, that is October, November 2023. So stick and stay with me. First, I want you to understand that not only Africa is eligible, okay? So many continents, Africa, Asia, Europe, America. So many countries from these continents are eligible. And millions of people from these countries apply, but they select about 138,000 people. And even with that, they give visa no more than 55,000 people. They still cut off a lot of people. So please, it is not easy to win. That is why I'm here today to give you some tips to raise your chances of winning, okay? According to research, they are saying that reasons that contribute to your failure might be duplicate application or photo requirements. So what is duplicate application? For instance, over the past years, you give your details to an agent to do the application for you. The agent still has your information. So let's say this year you are doing the application yourself. You might not know if the agent is going to apply for you or not. He might not tell you. So you apply, the agent also apply, it becomes duplicate application and automatically you are out. Okay, so beware. Secondly, photo requirements. What are they saying? Why is it that they focus so many instructions on this photo? The reason being that this lottery is diversity. So irrespective of your country, your region, religion, race, culture, tradition, height, age, gender. If you meet the requirements, you should qualify. For instance, let's see the national lottery draw. You see that they place some balls in the machine to spin. So the numbers on the ball that comes out is the lucky number or the winning number. Okay. But this one, you're feeding their system with your information and your photograph. So with the information, it is only duplicate informations that will take you out. And with the photograph, it should meet their requirements. So what are their requirements? One, they are saying that it should be a current photo, not more than six months old. Okay, current photo, it should be colored. It should have a white background, either plain white or off-white. Again, they are saying that you should look straight into the camera with your eyes open, these two ears showing, okay? You shouldn't put on headset or earpiece. You shouldn't wear hats, okay? You shouldn't cover your hair, except for religious purposes, like a Muslim with hijab. You should take the picture in a casual way. No uniform. Let's say your nurse teacher, please don't wear uniform. If you wear uniform, you are disqualified. Another one is don't wear glasses, okay? Please. Even if it's medicated, that one minute that you are taking the picture wouldn't make any difference. So kindly take it off. Some people say, oh, I followed all the instructions, but still they didn't select me. Yes. You will even say that you went to a professional photographer to take the photograph. But let me tell you one thing. How was the editing done? How was the saving done? Okay. They have requirements for the editing and the saving. They are saying that the aspect ratio should be square. And with a square, it should be 2 inches by 2 inches, okay? Even with that, they are saying that the quality should be 600 by 600 pixels. So you can have your 2 inches by 2 inches. But maybe the quality is 400 by 400 pixels. So please take note. It is 600 by 600 pixels. Another one is when you're saving a photo, the size should be 240 kilobytes or less. So let's say you saved and you got 245 kilobytes. Please change it. Otherwise, you'll be disqualified. They said 240 kilobytes or less. So please, when you're submitting the photograph, check the size. When it's 241 kilobytes or above, you'll be disqualified. Note that their system has been fed with these informations. So when you don't go by these requirements, you'll not be selected. It's a random sampling. Over 1 million people from every country applies. But at the end of the day, they're going to give it to only 55, a maximum of 55,000. I don't know if this year they're going to increase, but previous years, a maximum of 55,000 from all over these countries. So you can imagine your chances of winning. That is why you should take note of your picture and your duplicate application. And that can increase your chances from 0.111% of winning to let's say 40% of winning. If you love my videos, kindly subscribe to this channel. The name is Tips and Gist, okay? Go on YouTube, subscribe, like my videos and watch. I have so many secrets that I even don't post here. Thank you.